All right, listen, if we can go the rest of this fight without Hisoka moaning one single time, I'll consider that a W. Like what I can get these days. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Boss or I Shinobi. Today we have episode 36 of our Hunter Hunter Watcher called A Big Debt and a Small Kick. Very specific. On the last, last episode, we started the fight between Golden and Hisoka, and it's actually turning relatively well in Golden's favor. Him catching Hisoka off guard with a big kick to the face. So who knows where it'll go from here. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub, hit that big blue bell so you don't miss any future episodes. Drop a fat like on this one. Let's just hop right into it. You're gonna sit on my lap. You have to be good. Okay, but he still got points for that punch. That wasn't a kick. Oh, sorry, I said it was a kick in the intro. It was a punch. Who is this? Uh, yeah, the fact that he was actually able to get a hit and awarded him two points for his determination and persistence. Oh, and ad adaptation. Yeah, who is this person? Obviously, they're they're kind of important. They they're, they have like detailed features and whatnot. He's actually walking. He thinks he's got a fight against, like he's actually got a fight going now. He knows he does. They're meeting in the middle, bro. He's got to match his energy. Oh. <gasps> he skipped it. Let's go. Hell yeah, I like that. He said when you can get a punch in on my face just like that. Hell yeah, dude. Dude, <laughs> Classic clown. <laughs> he's like, he's obviously knows, yeah. Oh, he's got to figure it out already. <laughs> don't, don't reveal your hand. Ah, he knows it. it is what it is. <laughs> I say. Ah, okay. It is, it is a little, <laughs> he nailed it. Transmuter. He knows giving up that information doesn't mean anything to Gon though. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're not one to trust, bud. Uh-oh, here we go. He's getting serious. His aura. I don't think he will, but it's going to be a hard fight, bro. The way he said Gon, he means business. God dang, he's so fast, man. He literally ran while Gon was still in the... Oh, man. I don't think our boy stands a chance. I mean, he got a nice hit in, but Hisoka wasn't taking it seriously then. Bro, you can kill someone in the crowd! Pay attention. Don't take your eyes off of him. He's so fat. He's just, he's just hovering behind him. That's terrifying. Gon, you're going to have to use something, man. You're not going to be able to just run away and get in another random punch. Gotta get, you gotta adapt. Oh man. If he was fast before, it's probably doubled at this point. He was holding back so much. Gon is losing vision, bro. This is terrible. That's, so that's three to two? Okay, yeah. Mm. No. What is he doing? Analyzing? Kind of looks like the walk Killua does with the. Uh, What's it called? Like just sort of after images. What does that mean? I don't like this. Did he like attach one of those strings to him? Which was Gyo. Oh, see where the strings are? Yes. He does have one on him. Oh my gosh. You're outmatched. I mean, how do you even get rid of that, bro? Just pull it off. Oh no. He's gonna pull him right into a punch, man. I can't watch. No, please be gentle. Dodge going anything. Oh, jeez. Elastic love. Bungee gum. Wait, wasn't that in an earlier? Oh, he, he used it whenever he fought. What's his name? I don't like that. I just don't like that. It's over. I think it's over. Oh, man. Gon got two points, bro. Wasn't bungee gum the thing you guys memed on in the comments? Where just like, it has the properties of like gum and rubber or something like that. Everybody was commenting that. Why? It looks like it's about over. So if he's not even able to detach it, he's already lost. Yeah. Hisoka has full control over this fight. Oh, people are actually cheering for Gon. Dude, he has to fight with that on him? Oh, no. He is, he is running on empty. Oh, this should be good. Oh? Ah, okay, I like this. 
I feel like it was like a long time ago. Elbow, clean hit, or critical strike. I don't know. I feel like it's a trick question. Everything Hisaka says is a trick. <laughs> this is what I'm saying, man. Oh, very smart. Had him distracted. Like I said, it was a trick question. Oh, when he pointed. He would have seen it coming. A warning. This is exactly what Gon just thought. What did he do then? Like, how could he have avoided those? At any of those times. Okay. So he's like wasting energy to an extent? Yeah, because you're in battle. I guess the only time he needed to hide his aura was whenever he kicked up the stone and was hiding behind it. Yeah, if he, hit, if he lands one attack, he can get, your bun he can get the bungee gun on you. It just sticks it to you. It's like an unwinnable battle. You basically have to win with the bungee gum on you. He's gonna end it. I don't think Gon stands a chance. I hate to be so negative. Is he like shocked that he's actually making a move with the bungee gum? You have to go in. Yeah, there's no other choice. That actually shocked Hisoka. Stop! Ay, 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 Stop! Am I allowed to be watching this? Is this illegal? Oh my gosh! Oh! Boom, 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 boom! I hate that he likes it! Oh my gosh, he's getting so many hits in. He's winning, but he's like, not fighting back. Oh, there he goes. Got himself together. God dang, dude, you can feel the power in that. It's so clean the way he fights though. It's just so much power with such elegance. His aura, it's so sinister. Mm. Oh shoot. Wait, what's the cap? Nine to four. Is it ten? He said, no, sorry, kid. It's rigged. It's rigged. I agree. He did get right back up. Hey, maybe he actually is like rigged or something. Like it's deeper than that. It's all corrupt. He literally has to dodge everything and with the bungee gum on him too. Huh? Oh my! Oh no! That's open shot, baby. That's it. It's over. Oh no, don't disrespect him, man. That's it. That's game. GG. I saw it coming. I saw him win. It was his, I saw him winning this, but dude, Gon, Gon gave it to him. And he liked it a little bit too much. I'm going to be honest. Even Kilo was smiling because he know Gon put up a hell of a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep your eyes on the prize, baby. I mean, it's his fault. It just snapped to him. He wants to say something? He's just walking away. That's it. He has made insane progress. It's like just like fighting mastery in general. Ten more fights, huh? Is that exact? Like, like ten here? Oh, okay. Dude. Oh, man. It's just setting it up. She, she's saying the next fight, one of them's gonna die. Because he knows if Gon keeps progressing this way, he's gonna get absurdly strong. What a fight, though. My goodness, by far my favorite of the series thus far. Metaphorically and physically far away, but not out of reach. I mean, he's just at the beginning of Nen. He's just gotten, like, the basics down, like he said. So Hisoka moves up. Wait, do we get to see him fight a floor master? Dude, Gon can take anyone on now that he's fought Hisoka. Bye, Coco. Thank you. Oh, shoot. 
This is getting deeper with the whole ref thing. He stops it sooner. Oh, okay. He actually thought Gon was in danger. Hmm. I guess that's true. I mean, they also know Hizuka likes to play with his opponents, so I mean, obviously it wouldn't have been 10-0 anyways. True, he learned more. Only someone in that fight could have learned from it. <laughs> Not gonna share? He's still got that positivity, I love it. Like, this is kind of like, like Wing signing off, like he's taught them all he can. Yeah, it's kind of like concluding that. Mm. It's up to them to just define their own path. Oh, dude, I hope Zushi comes back, man. Bye, Wing Sam. Bye, Zushi. Ah, dude. What a wholesome duo, though. I really liked the both of them. Zushi just had this very contrasting attitude towards Gon and Killua. It's like he's just this regular, regular kid in comparison to these two that are insane. I mean, Zushi's not regular. He's obviously talented and he was chosen for this, this fighting and all that. He, wait, what? He's going home? Oh, shoot. Wait, I thought they were going to stay at the arena. This is it? Yes! Yes! That's so cute. The duo off on an adventure. That's it for Heaven's Arena. We never got to see the tippity top, but that's okay. They're not ready for it. Incredible progress. God, dude, this outro just gets you so hyped every time. What a conclusion to the fight, indeed. About the way I expected it to go, but obviously some twists and turns here and there. This is like the moaning and everything. It's, it's, it's weird, man. I don't know how else to describe it. I'm really glad it kind of wrapped this whole thing up because it did feel like we had been at Heaven's Arena for a little bit. And not that it over state it's welcome or anything but i want to see them explore and whatnot experience this world especially since we haven't even checked in on karapika since he started his training and lerorio since he's studying but i guess i mean there's not much going on he's just studying but nonetheless i guess we're gonna build at this point towards uh gon and kilua going back to go to whale island and then i i re really forgot the date but the date that this whole auction thing is gonna go down where we're gonna see maybe like hisoka and the phantom troop and even the leader i'm not really sure but i feel like it's all gonna build to that but guys this has been it for episode 36 of our hunter hunter watch through drop a comment down below let me know what you thought of the fight in general definitely exceeded expectations for me and as always i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day as per usual and i'll catch you in the next one stay space